last video we looked at an introduction to the kind of circulatory system and the function of blood and also the function of the heart and all the different kind of types of cells that are contained in the blood. So let's just do a quick recap on that and then we're going to look at the heart today in a little bit more detail. So what we said last lesson was that our bodies are full of cells and those cells need certain things in order to make energy. They need glucose which we get when we eat food and which passes into our blood through the digestive system and through the small intestine but they also need oxygen and once they get this glucose, glucose and oxygen what they do is they, they do a chemical process known as respiration and in that chemical pro process the glucose and the oxygen are converted into energy but there's also waste products water and carbon dioxide CO2 so this is respiration and obviously they get other things as well but this is just the main thing that we're focusing on today and this is what we need to make energy so how does every cell in your body all the millions and millions of cells in your body get the glucose and the oxygen and once they have that glucose and oxygen and they produce energy and water and CO2 where does the water and CO2 go well that's the function of your circulatory system of your blood and of the heart. It carries the glucose and the oxygen to your cells and it takes away the waste, carbon dioxide and water. So here's a kind of image of the, the circuits in your body. It's a really simplified image, but it's just to kind of show um, how everything works together. Now in the center, we have the heart. Now the function of the heart is very simply to pump blood, to pump blood around the body. And the heart is made of a really, really strong muscle called cardiac muscle. Really, really strong muscle. And your heart is kind of located just to the center, center of your chest and slightly to the left. And if you get your fist in front of you and you close your fist and you have a clenched fist, that's roughly about the, the size of your heart. Um, so uh, it's a circuit and a circuit means that it just keeps going on and on and repeats itself. So we have to start somewhere. So I'm going to start here at the lungs okay so blood or your blood vessels pass by your lungs and they pick up oxygen and that oxygen then is transported down this line here towards your heart through this vein here so if blood contains oxygen we say that it is oxygenated it's oxygen oxygen rich blood so we've picked up all our, our oxygen and our blood is carrying that down to the heart. Now this is a relatively short trip and it's a trip through a vein and remember veins uh, carry blood to the heart. What your heart does, does then is it gets this blood, oxygenated blood, and it pumps it around the body, okay? And so it pumps the blood around the body to all the different cells in your body by this artery. Now there's lots and lots of arteries, but this is just a simplified diagram. And remember, arteries carry blood away from the heart. This oxygenated blood then goes to all the cells in your body and it's it's um, given to the cells and the carbon dioxide and water is then collected. So now we don't have oxygen in the blood anymore. It is deoxygenated blood. What we have instead is we have carbon dioxide. So how do we get rid of that carbon dioxide? Well, the, this blood is carried back to your heart by veins. Remember, veins carry blood to the heart. And what your heart does then is it pumps it back up to the lungs by this artery, away from the heart, and collects more oxygen. And then the process repeats itself and repeats itself. So every time you breathe in, you're taking an oxygen, that oxygen is given to your blood and pumped around your body. And when you breathe out, what's happening is the carbon dioxide that your blood that the blood has delivered back to your lungs is being expelled through your lungs. So this is the picture on page 136 of your textbook, and it's basically the same idea, but I just used the other picture because it's a little bit simpler. What we have here is we have our two lungs, and if we look at these lines here, we have the oxygenated blood, O2 is being carried to the heart. 
then that blood is being pumped around the body, oxygenated blood to all the cells, respiration takes place and carbon dioxide is pumped back to the heart and then back to the lungs to collect more oxygen. So it's the same image but it's just a little bit more complicated. Now let's look at the heart in a little bit more detail. There's a lot to learn in this but you do actually have to learn it. Again it's a cycle so um, I'm just going to start here. Okay. So um, the main vein that carries blood or oxygen rich blood from the lungs to your heart is known as the pulmonary vein. Okay, so it's really important that you know these parts. So the pulmonary vein carries oxygen rich or oxygenated blood from the lungs to the heart. And that's the main the main kind of vein. Obviously there's more of them, okay, that kind of join up with the pulmonary vein. So this blood comes into the heart and it comes into what's known as the left atrium. Now you'll notice in the heart that it's full of these little valves. And actually sorry there's four chambers. The first chamber is the left atrium. The next chamber is the left ventricle. And then the next chamber is the right ventricle and then we have the right atrium. Now you notice that this is the left atrium and the left ventricle but when you look at the picture they look like they're on the right. That's because this is if you're looking directly at somebody's heart as if you had x-ray glasses and you're looking into their body at their heart. So when you look at somebody and you look at their left arm from your point of view it's on the right side. And when you look at their right arm, from your point of view, it's on the left side. So this is the left atrium. So this oxygenated blood comes into the left atrium, and then it's pumped through to the left ventricle. Now, in the heart, there's these valves, and the whole purpose of the valves is to stop blood flowing backwards, basically. So once that blood enters the left ventricle, these valves stop it from flowing backwards. So it stops and makes sure that it's a one-way system only, that blood can only flow in one way. So blood goes into the left ventricle then, and from the left ventricle, it is pumped around the body, okay? And it's pumped around the body through a really, really thick artery known as the aorta. Pumps oxygenated blood around the body. So start off by learning this bit by bit. First half that you need to learn is that oxygenated blood comes into the heart by the pulmonary vein into the left atrium. It then moves into the left ventricle and it is pumped around the body through the aorta, a really really thick artery. So that's the first two chambers and the first vein and artery that you need to learn. Now remember, these, the, the blood doesn't flow through the um, two other chambers until it comes back. So what happens next is that oxygenated blood is pumped around the body, delivered to the cells, and then our deoxygenated blood comes back. And deoxygenated blood comes back through the vena cava. Okay, so this is a vein because it's carrying blood to the heart. It comes, okay, so vena cava. carries deoxygenated blood to the heart. So blood enters through the vena cava into the right atrium this time. Again, there's valves. From the right atrium, it moves into the right ventricle. And then that deoxygenated blood is carried back up to the heart to the pulmonary artery. So pulmonary artery carries deoxygenated blood to the lungs. 
And you notice that word pulmonary is used again. So when you see pulmonary, and it's a nice thing to remember, it means it's either coming to or from the lungs. So pulmonary artery is blood away from the heart, because arteries are away from the heart, towards the lungs. Pulmonary vein is blood to the uh, heart because it's a vein, and pulmonary means from the lungs. So this is a really complicated diagram to learn, but you have to learn this diagram and you have to learn these four main blood vessels, the pulmonary artery, the vena cava, the aorta, and the pulmonary vein. Okay? And remember, you can use page, what did I say, page 136, 137 of your textbook to help you. There's a slightly different diagram, but it's the same kind of process. And what I'll do is I'll give you a couple of questions that you can practice this. And when we're back in school, we'll get to dissect the heart as well.